Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Andor Season 2 release date. That's right now on Star Wars Coffee. The Cassian Andor first season releases tomorrow september 21st with a three episode premiere that releases at 3 a.m eastern time 12 p or 12 a.m rather midnight west coast pacific time so with that being the case we have a lot to look forward to with this upcoming season of andor but we also have a lot to look forward to for season two even though season one isn't already out yeah that's right we're going to be talking about season two as tony gilroy has already been asked and started talking about andor season two he spoke recently with drew taylor over at the wrap talking about andor and the season two release date saying that this is the longest time he's ever spent anywhere, according to Tony Gilroy. He says the new Star Wars series serves as a prequel to 2016's Rogue One, a Star Wars story where the Rebels get the Death Star plans. Obviously, we already knew that. But while talking to showrunner Tony Gilroy, they brought up previously Lucasfilm head Kathleen Kennedy has suggested leaning on him as a, an ambassador for a suite of Star Wars films post Andor. Tony Gilroy said that he hadn't talked to Kathleen Kennedy about taking on a bigger cinematic project other than Andor and suggesting that a deviation in the way he is accustomed to working. This is the most home I've ever made. I've always made a very simple and a very nimble approach to this. I never take a job in front of another job. I've always just done one thing at a time and moved around and never made a company or got a letterhead or I never had a production deal or anything. This is the longest time I've spent anywhere. When asked if he would stick around after Andor was done, which the charts radicalization of casting Andor in the years leading up to the events of Rogue One is crafted as a close-ended two-season story, or if this is his final work in the Star Wars universe, he said the latter was probably true. As suspect as my involvement in the Star Wars community is, by the time I'm done, I'll have my hands on 26 hours of Star Wars content. I will be a player by the time we finish. This is making me stick around right now. I think that's the headline. Gilroy said that his work on Andor is really sticking around and considering that he still has to produce and release season 2. I have two more years to go. We start shooting in November on season 2, and I don't know if our past pattern was two years, but I mean, I'll be on. We'll shoot from November to August, and then post-production last time was about a year. That probably means at the earliest we can expect Andor in season 2 and the fall of 2024. But if the first batch is any indication, so far, based on all of the trailers and TV spots, it will be worth the wait. Obviously, Andor Season 1 isn't out yet, but based on all of the talk, Tony Gilroy has signed a first look deal with Lucasfilm. This deal apparently does include him developing more Star Wars series for Disney+, Plus, as well as directing Star Wars movies. Now, of course, that was um, mentioned in the rap article here, but this was also reported by Fandom Wire as well, so we'll have to take a spot on that. Um, but this does give us a good indication that the Mandalorian Season 3 will definitely come well before the Andor Season 2, as most people are concerned about with that, and possibly the Ahsoka series coming before Andor Season 2 as well. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.